striking similarity between soul's polytheistic tendencies and a prophet of Allah in Quran. Greetings all, I'm Zahra here to help you leave Islam. And in this video, I'm going to show you how the soul has been misused as shown through Quran ayahs that it has polytheistic tendencies so to not listen to it and shun it. However, we find through another Quran ayat striking similarities with polytheistic practice of worshipping and thus bowing to the creation of Allah. Coming to the polytheistic tendencies of the soul, we see problems in the Quran ayats. Allah has not given guidance to the soul, Surah 32, Ayat 13, which means that uh, the soul starts to create problems. It had Allah given guidance to the soul, this would not have happened. This unguided soul um, then creates problems for itself in humans, not only shaitan who misleads uh, the humans. Quran ayats reveal the soul of man is prone to evil unless Allah have mercy on it. Uh, Surah 12, Ayat 53, Prophet Yusuf says this for his own soul. That is, uh, if I was not absolved, I, I cannot absolve myself, my soul. Had Allah had not, um, had Allah not have mercy on me. So this, and then soul suggesting evil to worship other than Allah, i.e. his creation. You can see in the Samiri case, Surah 20, Ayat 96, soul suggesting evil to worship other than Allah. Worshipping other than Allah again, i.e. his creation, thus wronging itself. Uh, Surah 27, Ayat 44, Queen Sheba wronging her no her soul wronging her okay surah namalite 44 is a bit tricky uh, queen sheba says uh, my lord i have surely wronged myself so here it means that she has wronged her own soul by worshiping the sun the create which is created by allah okay i'm going to look into this uh, matter about who wronged the soul. She wronged her soul, and the soul is uh, prone to evil. Uh, so there's a contradiction between Ayat Surah Yusuf, Ayat 53, and uh, this Surah Namal, Ayat 44. I will uh, talk about this later. For now, then we have Solomon showed Queen Sheba that all is an illusion. So sun is uh, not an illusion, but it's a creation or sign of Allah. She has been worshipping but she should submit also herself to Allah and worship him alone, not prostrating even to the sun. Then um, Surah 53, Ayah 23 also says the same thing about idols against idol worshippers, that their souls desired and thus they worshipped these idols. Again, again here the soul is um, the one desiring and prone to evil, and evil suggestions, so beware of the soul. It leads you to polytheism. In conclusion, this Quran I state that the soul induces you to worship Allah's creation. So don't listen to the soul and fight against the soul with your will in some Quran ayahs, but in another, Allah should have mercy on you, like in Surah Yusuf, Ayat 53, and follow Allah's guidance given to the messengers or sent by revelation to the messengers and prophets. Thus we see had Allah guided the soul, we would not have the problems and complications like having prophets guide people and wanting revelations sent to prophets and putting them in written form because Allah cannot send a book directly to humankind like the mother of books on high mentioned in Quran, a Quran ayat. So this uh, is totally unjust to the humankind. As Allah says in Surah Sajdai 13, had we willed, we could have easily 
impose guidance on every soul. Nafs. But my word will come to pass. And the word is given to shaitan. Mind you, in the Quran ayat, I will surely fill up hell with jinn and humans altogether who do not follow my guidance and who follow him, i.e. shaitan. So, uh, coming back to this verse again, Surah Sajda ayat 13, uh, showing you that it is quite unjust. Allah has been to the soul by not giving it guidance also and making his word come true, which he has given to shaitan. Uh, previously uh, uh, stated in a Quran ayat. Uh, now, coming back to another thing I want to show you, another contradiction, uh, showing a practice of polytheism. In Surah 12, ayat 100, so taking this pro uh, soul problem of polytheistic tendencies given in the Quran ayats, as I showed you earlier on, now, we come to this contradiction and striking similarity of polytheistic tendencies of the soul and those, in those, sorry, a correction made, in those sent to guide mankind, also worshipping other than Allah by prostrating to them, like Hazrat Yaqub prostrating to Hazrat Yusuf and uh, so ha we see a prophet like Hazrat Yaqub being personified also as the son prostrating to his son Yusuf. Okay, this is uh, Surah 12, Ayat 100. But there is a total contradiction taking place, right? This uh, in the Quran Ayat. Uh, in Surah Fusilat, Ayat 37, we see this. Surah Fusilat 37 states, And of his signs are the night and the day, and the sun and the moon. Do not prostrate yourselves before the sun nor before the moon, but prostrate yourselves before Allah who created them. If it is him that you serve, or meaning worship. This Quran ayat says, Do not prostrate to the sun or the moon but to Allah who created them. This means eternal law for all times to prostrate only to Allah who created the sun and the moon and not only this, but not to prostrate to the sun and the moon. That's also a general thing, not to uh, prostrate to any created thing because Allah gives the reason here in Surah Fasilat 37 saying, Allah who created them. So it uh, becomes a general, eternal law of Allah not to prostrate to anyone, uh, anything or anyone which Allah has or whom Allah has created. And another thing is that prostration is a form of worship. So you see a very, um, a law here of Allah not to prostrate to them, an order given by Allah to every one of the Muslims, right? So again, this Quran ayat says, do not prostrate to the sun or the moon, but to Allah who created them. This means eternal law for all times to prostrate to Allah alone and not his created things or beings. Prostration, being a part of worship, should not be done to anyone or anything other than Allah, but Allah. Yet Surah 12, Ayat 100, in that Prophet Yaqub prostrates to his son Yusuf, hence contradiction uh, against Surah Fasilat Ayat. Now, can you blame policies for following their souls to worship objects created by Allah or human beings who take them near to Allah? Surah uh, Zumar Ayat 3, that's 39 chapter of the Quran, Surah of the Quran. No, you cannot because you see uh, those guided by Allah doing the same thing, prostrating uh, to um, Hazrat Yaqub, prostrating to his son Yuka, uh, Yusuf and Hazrat Yaqub being a personification of uh, the sun, solar sun. So that uh, is not right. When you're saying against polytheists, 
uh, in the Quran ayats that the soul, their souls make them do this. It's their soul's desire and it's uh, the soul is ignorant and the soul is prone to evil. Uh, and yet you see someone else, uh, the prophets themselves, one of them, the example being here in Surah Yusuf 800, doing this. So now I've shown you how you have been deceived by the Quran ayats telling you it's the soul that makes you worship other than Allah, his creation, apart uh, from shaitan uh, misleading you. Hope you can see this. And also worth mentioning is the Shia saying about Surah 12, Ayat 100, uh, that uh, there are two sajdas, different sajdas. One you can do to human representative of God. But uh, worth mentioning is, if you don't see a contradiction in this, uh, that uh, Hazrat uh, Yaqub and his aunt or his or his wife, sorry, or his uh, sister, uh, they were personified as uh, the sun and the moon. And the 11 stars were his, uh, Yusuf's brothers. Uh, so personification of uh, representing the sun, you know, personification means that the sun was Hazrat Yaqub in uh, person and uh, the moon was his uh, wife. Hazrat Yaqub's wife. So I can explain this later, but for now, uh, it goes against Surah Fasila Ayat where God says that do not prostrate to the sun or the moon. And you see uh, the sun and the moon personified as Hazrat Yaqub, parents of Hazrat Yusuf or his aunt, or as the Sunnis say, his uh, stepmother bowed, prostrated to Yusuf. So that was um, a contention, a confusion for me. And now I seem to have uh, this, uh, it doesn't, uh, taking the Shia tafsir explanation that the two such does are allowed, it, it doesn't uh, uh, give me an, uh, a deep explanation, right? Uh, so it goes against the Fusilla diet anyways. The, uh, we should not be, uh, human beings should not be, let alone the messengers and prophets prostrating in this case, Surah Yusuf Ayat, Hazrat Yaqub, the son personified prostrating to Hazrat Yusuf. And there are personifications like in the polytheism also. Uh, so uh, how come God has gone against uh, the polytheism using the same kind of, same reason uh, that he then doesn't give us in Surah Yusuf Ayat 100, but uh, the tafsirs are explaining uh, of Shias uh, that there are uh, two uh, sajdas, uh, two different uh, forms of sajda, and this doesn't mean total submission to Allah's will. Then you look at the personification, the sun is personified, and all that uh, contradiction still going hanging. Sorry, I have to leave you now with this. Thank you so much, special. Thanks to Quran.com, Multilingual Quran also, taking screenshots from there for ayahs and tafsirs I use for this video. No copyright infringement intended.